Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about using symbolism in your writing. Symbolism is something we encounter in nearly every piece of writing. Sometimes it's intentional, and sometimes it's the product of the author's experiences. And roleplay is no different. We encounter symbolism in roleplay as well, intentional and not. So today, we're going to talk about some ways that you can use symbolism in your roleplay. If you're at all familiar with writing advice, you've heard show not tell ad nauseum. Now I'm not here today to talk about show versus tell, but the reason that I mention it is when it comes to symbolism, it's a way that we can do a lot more showing without explicitly telling, because those symbols can pack so much meaning into them in so few words. When incorporating symbols into your writing, Think about your audience first. And remember, role-playing is writing for an audience of one. So think about the person that you're role-playing with and what kind of symbols they would be familiar with. When in doubt, err on the side of common symbols versus uncommon or old-fashioned ones. Think spring for rebirth, skulls for death, red for passion. These are the types of symbols that everyone knows what they mean. If you've not intentionally written with symbolism before, I recommend to start with some small details to make it easier. So maybe think about what style or color of clothing your character is wearing. Are they maybe wearing shorts in the winter? Are they wearing pink? Maybe think about how do they take their coffee? If they're mature or they want to be seen as mature, maybe they take their coffee black. If they buy flowers for a loved one, what sort of flowers do they buy? Do they maybe buy roses for romantic interest? Those small preferences can be symbolic in your writing. When you repeat symbols over and over in a particular work, they become a motif. So if we think back to our grade school English, a motif is a distinctive feature in a work. For example, a plot or a character could have a certain motif. Think about the way that cats relate to different characters in Harry Potter. Umbridge, Filch, Hermione, McGonagall. Or what about a fire motif, such as what we see with House Targaryen in Game of Thrones? Repeating that symbol over and over at particular times is what makes it a motif in the writing. When thinking of symbols to use in our writing, we can also think of metaphors. A metaphor is when something represents something other than itself, such as lions representing bravery or stars representing mystery. When we use a symbol to talk about something that it isn't, we're using metaphor. So whenever we're doing that, it's worth considering why we're picking that particular symbol for our metaphor. Does it convey to our partner what we want it to convey? Is there maybe a different symbol that we should pick if that isn't the case? I tend to think if a symbol needs to be explained, it's probably not the best symbol to use. But the other thing about role playing is the more that you role play with the same person over and over, the more you're going to come to know what sorts of symbols they use and what they mean. When using symbols in our role play, we might tie them to the plot overall, a particular character, or a relationship that character has. If a particular character, for example, describes another character using an animal metaphor or maybe a particular flower, then it really shows how that character thinks about the other character. Pushing yourself to think about your writing, your plots, your characters symbolically forces you to engage with them in a way that's not possible with explicit descriptions and dialogue. Humans love patterns. We love to relate things to other things, even if they don't really have anything to do with each other. So writing in this way gives you a much deeper and richer experience when you're role playing. Do any of you guys do this? And if so, what symbols do you like to use? I'm thinking of maybe making a video that talks about specific symbols that we can use for characters. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below. Now, a sort of cousin to symbolism is allegory. An allegory is when a piece of work can be interpreted with a hidden meaning. Usually it's a moral or political meaning. And just like symbolism, allegory can be used intentionally and it can just be based off of the author's experiences. So it's just like symbolism in that way that sometimes allegory is intentional and sometimes it's not. Tolkien would roll over in his grave to hear me say this, but Lord of the Rings is a World War I allegory. He just didn't do it on purpose. It was informed by his experiences in the war and that worked its way into its work. This is the same thing for role playing. We're probably putting certain allegories into our role play that are based on our own experiences without really realizing it. 
Our writing mirrors our experiences and our lives, whether we want it to or not. So it's worth taking the time to look at your writing and see if there's any unintentional allegories in there. The reason why this is important is because we always want to have a strong line between mun and muse, because we want to make sure that we're not confusing in-character actions for out-of-character actions. Allegory done purposefully through role play is really difficult. It takes a really dedicated partner, or if we're talking about a role play group, really dedicated group of moderators, but it can be done. You can craft a story through role play that has a political or moral message to it with the proper dedication. Have any of you guys ever attempted to do this? So for me, if I get an idea really stuck in my head, the way that I sort of get it out and express it is through role play. So I've definitely had situations where I've planned role plays like this. And then also, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you use symbols in your role play? If so, how? I'm really curious about what sort of symbolism you guys enjoy in your role play interactions. Remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.